Morning guys and welcome to another episode of what I eat in a week. So for this week my ambition is to just eat a little bit healthier. Just lately I've been invited to quite a lot of restaurants and been eating a lot of junk food basically and I've had like a mini breakout because of it. It's not like awful but it's not quite what it should be so this week I'm going to try and drink less alcohol. I'm going to try and eat a bit more healthy but we'll see how the week goes. I'm quite easily influenced into these indulgent choices. But yeah thank you for joining me again and I hope you enjoy the video. I started off my morning with this like peanut butter protein shake after spending the night at a, um, a friend's on Sunday. Whilst at work I had this little naked bar I grabbed from a health food shop in the morning and then I went to the gate to have some of their polenta chips for lunch. Definitely not a balanced meal but it was still tasty. The central line had so many issues so I had to get off a couple stops early in the evening so my walk home was pretty long. When I got home I made myself some pie and mash and veg with some gravy. All of this was just so like warming and hearty, just perfect after a long day. Tuesday morning I remembered I had found a Beyond Meat burger reduced at the weekend and that I should eat it very fast because it was probably going to go off like ASAP. Similarly my bread had started growing mould, I did get this discounted at the weekend um, but it was still really annoying to see it getting mouldy so soon so I just cut off the mould and worked around it. <laughs> I swear, I said I wanted to eat healthy this week, but I have so many burgers and half the problem is, is that I had like a pack of that vegan cheese slices and there's not much else you can do with them. For lunch, I made myself a little sandwich with this squeaky bean vegan ham, which is actually really good. I do prefer this to the corn stuff. I managed to grab myself this cookie from M&S the night before as well and it was so tasty. I had real bad chocolate cravings the day before at work so this was perfect. I got my nails painted in my lunch hour and oh my god they are so pretty. I absolutely love them. They're like a jade green print. So gorgeous. For dinner I decided to use up the rest of the veg and make myself a sort of like salad couscous bowl. So we actually have some men coming around today. They are going to be sorting out our bathroom. We've been living here over a year now. And um, when we first moved in, we noticed this horrible dampness at the top of our bathroom and they assured us it would be dealt with urgently. It was about nine months into the contract that we finally got the council to address the problem above us. So in January, they came and painted this wall, but because the dampness above us hadn't been addressed, it was still getting damp, but they did need to come fix the wall back in January because it had been six months of damp and we were just getting mould everywhere and we are always cleaning the bathroom. So yeah, we're quite excited to get that fixed because it is a bit embarrassing <laughs> having such an ugly bathroom. And also it really affects like the filming angles I can do in here. I don't want that in any of my Instagram pictures or any of my videos, so it's such a relief. I think we've been here 14 months now, finally. 
that stopped being damp and the guys can come around and they can sort it out. He has just popped out for lunch, but I'll show you what it looks like at the moment. I'm quite excited. I thought they were just doing that one patch, but they're doing like a whole bathroom. I am actually off for, God, my skin looks awful in this light. My God, where's my glowing skin? Oh, hello. I actually got a call yesterday to see if I had time today to shoot with Superdrug and I've made the time, but I'm quite excited by that. They needed someone who knew about sustainable beauty and I fit the bill. So I'm really excited and it's not too far away, so I'm gonna go for a walk. Whilst I was there shooting, they actually put in an order for sushi and they got me some vegan friendly sushi as well, which was really nice and refreshing. It really was such a hot day, so this was perfect. Whilst I was there, they did my hair and makeup. Look how amazing I look. I love it, I look so chic. And then when I got home, the bathroom was finished, like magic. It looks so much better, doesn't it? And then that evening we finished off watching Sex and the City, like the final of the series, before moving on to the movies later that week. But I really hated the last two episodes. It just felt like it made no sense with the spirit of the show. We did watch the first movie the next night and I really felt like that was perfect, like just tied the show up exactly how I'd like it to be. Thursday morning I didn't like anything I had in the fridge for breakfast so I went out and bought myself some tofu and some other pieces so I could make some tofu scramble. Tofu scramble is definitely one of my favourite breakfasts to make and I never make it plain, I'm always throwing in different veg. It's actually a really good meal if you've got stuff going off in the fridge, you can throw so many different things into it, so definitely one for helping cut down on food waste. My non-negotiable essentials are always turmeric which gives it the perfect colour and also kalanamak which gives it that beautiful eggish taste. I wanted a little bit of peace and quiet in the afternoon so I went to this cute little cafe off of Brick Lane. It's completely vegan and I got myself a breakfast bagel because they do all day breakfast. Also got myself like a chilli hot chocolate to start with and later on I got a glass of vegan white wine. For dinner I made a little bit of a salad with a little bit of leftover tofu and put that with pitta and hummus and it was so tasty.
I feel like I spend half my time complaining that we had no summer this year and then every video I create I seem to be talking about a surprise heat wave we have and this is another one of those days where we have a surprise gorgeous summer's day even though it's the end of September. I made myself a really refreshing smoothie using like frozen bananas and the tiramisu form protein powder and a little bit of cream, a little bit of water, just blended it all up and it was so delicious. Really recommend this. Would have been great if I had a little bit of spinach thrown in as well just for some greens but sadly not. When I saw the weather forecast earlier this week I kind of invited myself over to my sister's for a barbecue so I bought her a big bouquet of flowers to say thank you and whilst I was there I was just so well looked after. I went straight out to the garden and she brought me some fruit but I did go in and make my special iced coffees which I used to make all the time whilst I was there. If you guys were following me from like early 2020 you'll remember that I spent the early days of lockdown number one at my sister's so this may all look a little bit familiar to you. We went for a little walk by the river like we did quite a lot but this time around there were cows in the field and I've heard rumours about these before but I've never seen them myself so I did go over to say hi and try and make friends but it was really quite clear they weren't interested so after a little bit of trying I decided it was best to leave them alone and leave them to their dinner. Back in the first lockdown 2020, when it was sunny so often, we had a lot of barbecues at my sister's, so this was such a lovely throwback. Like she makes the best pesto potato salad, which I requested, and there were a few little nibbles as well. It was all just so lovely and a really nice way to enjoy some late summer sun. If you're wondering where all these vegan foods came from, my sister's local store is an Aldi, so she got it all from there. So we've got like the vegan chicken burger and the vegan buns. It was all so lovely. Honestly, I never used to be grateful for time with my family, but the pandemic really put things into perspective, didn't it? So I had the best time. Thank you again for watching and joining me on another week. I hope you have a lovely day and see you again soon. Bye.